RBS Business Research Academy welcomes to you a new new series on the two stage approach. This is lecture number one uh, of this series. So basically, in this series, we are going to understand the relationship between the artificial neural network and the two stage approach. Artificial neural network we can perform this in the uh, uh, species while the PLS we can uh, perform in the smart PLS. So, so PLS basically the uh, uh, the uh, partial least square structure equation modeling, which we can perform within the smart PLS. So this is a combination of these two different techniques are there. So that's why we call it a two-stage approach. So let's to understand the two-stage approach. So my name is Dr. Rainberg Sumru and I'm working as a professor at the Shah Abdul University. And if you want to contact me, they, these are the links are there through which you can contact me. So what is neural network? Neural network are preferred tool for many predictive data mining applications. So uh, there are different uh, means the, uh, predictive data mining techniques and new network and neural network is also uh, uh, one of them through which you can also predict about the uh, sales, about any other problem which you are facing right now. And because it's a powerful, it's a highly flexible and very easy to use. Predictive neural network are particularly useful in applications where underlying process is complex. So if you are facing any underlying complex, so this uh, neural network R A N N can help you a lot. For example, uh, if you want to forecast the consumer demand uh, to streamline the product and delivery of the production cost, so you you are you, you are not sure what will be the consumer demand. If you want to predict about the consumer de demand, then the A N N can help you. And if you want to predict the probability of response to direct marketing uh, offers to be sent to the said particular household, then in this situation, A N N can help you. Or if you want to scoring the applicant, determine the risk of extending the credit, uh, then again, this can help you. Or if you want to find out the uh, characteristics of the probability trans trans uh, transactions, then again, this can help you. So now from this point of view, you can understand uh, that there are different applications of the neural networks are available. Uh, ANN is, is not uh, basically a statistical tool, but it is a computer tool. So now we have to apply this computer tool on the statistical results for the prediction purpose. For example, we are analyzing our data in the smart PLS, and then we are predicting the data, uh, uh, those results in the uh, species and where you can apply this computer tool to further understand the results. Neural network use the in, in the predictive application. There are the two type of the predictive applications are available in the ANN. Multi-layer perception model where the different uh, layers will be uh, generated by the software, by the smart PDS itself and the radial basic functions. So in the next video, I have discussed about the multiple perception as well as the radial basis for uh, function. Which one is a better choice? In the next uh, video, I have discussed about the uh, difference between these two approaches. And these are supervised in the sense that the model predicted result can be compared against the known results of the target. It can also accommodate non-compensatory model, where the decrease in one model need not to be the compensated by the another. For example, normally we are working the linear models. So if your data is not linear, again, this can help you in this regard. And then artificial neural network is computational model resembling the human brain. So it resembles your human brain with acquisition of the new knowledge from the environment. Whatever knowledge which you are getting from the environment, then you are processing the, the same knowledge in your mind and then you are reaching on a certain conclusion. The same thing is being done by the artificial neural networks. So now basically whenever you are giving any data to the neural network, then you are asking from the neural network that please provide me the response or uh, conclusions from the dependent or independent variable with the or the data which are providing to the uh, artificial neural network. For them, it's an artificial trend which have been created by the software. A standard linear regression analysis like the same can only detect the linear relationship. So now with the help of the same you can find out the linear relationship among the dependent or independent variables. Uh, this that might be oversimplified the complex uh, decision-making process. So that's why 
Consequently, our result and this application of A in which it determine the post linear and long relationship. Now, the the benefit of A in is that the, it can work on the linear and non-linear relationship. Earlierly, uh, if we talk about the same thing, can only work on the linear relationship, but this can also work on the linear and non-linear relationship. And then it was determined that the application of the A in could be better identify the complex linear and long association between the antecedent and behavioral intention. That's another same thing almost is there. And then beside the robustness of A in is reported uh, providing greater prediction precision, that means the predictions are highly precise and therefore the uh, might outperform conventional linear statistical analysis such as a multiple regression. Even though in the multiple regression what we are doing, we are predicting based on our uh, the dependent variable, we are predicting about the independent variable. The same thing is being happened in the AN. And the AN is a more powerful, more flexible and easy to use tool uh, than the conventional linear regression analysis tool like the multiple regression. So these are some of benefits if we apply the ANN on our results. However, in, in our ANN involve a black box. Black, black box is a one concept. It's an operation uh, system, meaning it's inappropriate, inappropriate for the causal relationship. So if you want to find out the causal relationship between the dependent and independent variable, then this tool is not useful because it's a, it's a like a black box. So we do not know what is being happened because we do not know what is being happened in the black box by the software itself. So because it will create different hidden layers and uh, those hit, about those hidden layers, no, we cannot know. That's why we use the black box. Uh, because we cannot see what is inside the black box. Black box is completely uh, uh, covered. So in the same way, hidden layers are there, so which we cannot understand because of the black box. So that's uh, because of black box, it cannot test a causal relationship between the dependent and independent variable. In line with the past studies, so now the researcher can adopt the two-stage analysis. So now in the first stage to test the underlying a causal relationship between the determinant and the dependent variable through the same first we have to apply the causal relationship so causal relationship we can apply with the help of any historical equation modeling software like the smart PLS. and then we have to break uh, uh, then we have to bring those results into the uh, uh, artificial neural network and what will happen that the a in uh, can detect the relative importance of the each independent variable through the significance in the same that means that those relationships which are significant, those hypotheses which are significant, only those results you can uh, bring into the uh, artificial neural network and this neural network will tell you whether uh, the, which independent variable is the most important and which is the least important. Artificial neural network is basically a computational neural network is a sum of the non-linear data modeling tool and the consisting of the input and output layers. So there are two layers are the input layer and the output layer and third one is a hidden layer plus one or two hidden layers. So basically there are three types of the layers are the input layer and output layer and in the third one is a, a hidden layer which we cannot see. So that's why I'm using the word black box. The connection between neurons in each layer have related weights. So now they are software uh, itself attains a certain weights with the each layer which are iteratively adjusted by uh, through the certain algorithm. So algorithm are there uh, in the next uh, lecture number two I have discussed about the uh, algorithm which are being used by the ANN approach to minimize the error and provide the accurate prediction. So now it, it attains a different weights to the each independent variable. For non-linear, for example, if we talk about the non-linear, so what are the non-linear? Now, for example, the linear relationship between the variables can be described by the linear relationship. Uh, so, for example, there is no linear relationship. Then again, even you can apply the A and N approach are there. Are independence equal variance and normal? Even if your data is non-normal, you can also apply the artificial neural network because we uh, separate the data into two forms. One is a parametric data and is a non-parametric data. 
So parametric data are those which are following these assumptions are which are meeting those assumptions and those data set which are not meeting these assumptions we call them is a non-parametric data set. So now this A in approach can also work on the non-parametric uh, data set also. And then uh, A in resembles the brain in two aspects. So human brain and A in there is somehow there is resemblance in the uh, in the two aspects. First one, knowledge is acquired by the network through a learning process, through a learning process the formal or formally or informally. We learn different things. And then enter neuron connection strain known as a synaptic waves are used to store the knowledge. And then we are storing the those knowledge in our mind by, by resembling those uh, uh, information with a certain events in our life. And then the connection between the neuron in each layer have related bits, which are actively adjusted and then they minimize and provide the accurate prediction. So now that's why the human brain, like it is working almost in the same way the artificial neuron network are also working. So uh, violation of assumption, if, norm, uh, no, if the data is non-normal, if the data is non-linear, if there is any uh, noise out there, small sample size. Small sample size means that if your sample size even is it's a less than 50. So now if these are the issues with your data, then A in is a robust against all these issues. Through several rounds of the learning process, the errors can be minimized and QDC prediction can further be improved because uh, it will create 10 to 15 or 20 layers. So in this way, by creating this multiple layers, so now what will happen that the accuracy of prediction can be improved and the errors can be minimized. Okay, so error we can identify through the RMAC root mean square standard error. So if the value of the RMAC is a less than 0 0.1, it's a wonderful result. So now by creating the multiple layers, so now this, this error can be minimized in the next uh, technical uh, video, lecture number two, I discuss about the, uh, these things. ANN is a also most robust can provide the higher prediction accuracy than the linear models. So linear model like the multiple regression are multiple linear regression. What are the results they are providing? Even though this AN is a most uh, is, is more robust than the uh, linear regression models. So here source of material on in if you if you require different material on on in the first one is a soft material is a IBM species neural network 26, uh, 26. So this document will provide the complete understanding of the each and every uh, options which is available in the uh, in, in this uh, uh, in the A species. So if you want to download, it's just write down the IBM A species neural network 26 in the uh, uh, in the Google. It will give you. And then other thing is a new tools for building the predictive mode. This is another one and you can also download uh, this one from the Google. And in the wonderful research paper is about the predicting mobile wallet resistance. So uh, this is also a wonderful research paper is that you can also download it from the uh, uh, internet. Because it provides a brief overview of the two stack equation modeling involving the, uh, uh, the uh, same stack equation modeling and the artificial neural networks. So this one paper is wonderful and I suggest you that uh, if you want to understand the ANN and the same like the two stage model, then this paper is wonderful. At the end, thank you very much for watching my uh, lecture number one. So please also uh, watch my lecture number two on the ANN, which provides you some technical terms on the ANN and the two-stage approach. So thank you very much for watching this video. And if you like this video, then please subscribe my channel and leave a comment or like my uh, video. Thank you very much.